Hey guys, welcome back. It's Buddy with Guns. Hope you guys are having a good day. Actually, I prefer Jack, but you know, I mean, it's it's the brand. It's the brand. Before we get started, I just, I don't know, producing content in a time like this and just like staying quiet didn't really feel right to me. I'm definitely not the guy speaking on the topic. Everything I'm referring to um, is regarding the Black Lives, Black Lives Matter movement, the death of George uh, Floyd, Breonna Taylor, that, that kind of thing. Um, yes, I am... Wouldn't say that I'm the most informed on the topic, but in the description, I decided to include a link to um, a website that might tell you guys what you could do if you wanted to be involved. If you ever ask yourself the question, like, like I, I want to be on the right side, but what do I do? This website can answer that for you. But let's get into video games because that is, at the end of the day, what I'm here for. Um, I also think that escapism in a time like this is, is a little bit important. Um, so I am finally going to spend some more money and buy some more of these traits just because i always forget to do that there we go zero nugs back to the basics and um who are we gonna play as today let's, let's go let's go random the comedian yeah we can, we can do the comedian room i haven't really played much as this guy so i'm interested to see um exactly what he's doing i did um do one run where my friend was playing as the comedian and he ended up winning but um i, I wasn't exactly uh, completely informed as to what the character does so you want to make people uh, tell a joke to a certain percentage of people. I know that when you tell these jokes, people can either love you. Okay. I accidentally, honestly, mistook the joke button for the button where I throw a fist. It's been a hot minute since I played Streets of Rogue, if I'm being honest with you, but, you know. Okay, it's the left trigger. There you go. Got derp a derp derp, just in case you were wondering um, what uh, audience this game is marketed towards. I mean that mainly as a joke, but, you know. I don't know, derp is something that just has not aged well at all in my personal experience. I know, yeah, there is the potential that the people will become um, kind of on your side, which is always a positive, and you only got to tell six people jokes on this floor. Um, yeah, people can become aligned with you or loyal to you. So that is definitely something that we are going to be interested in using to our advantage. You might gain a follower here or there and be able to use them to manipulate and work through the missions. So yeah, I'm going to... I feel like I should be going faster because these episodes, if we actually get to the point where we end up winning one, which believe me, I'm not sure if that will ever be possible, just knowing myself, um, I feel like it's just like the, the video will be like 90 minutes long, which isn't exactly what I'm going for here. This guy's going to hate this. You want to hear a joke? No? Alrighty. Keep it moving. And then this one will be... Oh, dang. Should be a open door around this corner, hopefully. This dude still hates me. You want to attack this guy for me? You not hear that one? Yeah, that's what we like to see. Die hard fans. Don't turn around, please. This is going to be a little spicy. All right. Keep it moving. Wow. This dude's... This dude's been through the ringer. I mean, and I do feel bad because I'm the one destroying his house, but at the end of the day, you know, it's eat or be eaten in this, in this world. Probably could have just destroyed this, avoided some damage. Really just gonna have to throw some punches on you. Sorry, man. I know I'm breaking, entering, and attacking, but at this point, you know, this, this is looking to be more of a, a joker type of comedian than like, uh, I don't know, somebody a little bit more wholesome. All right, we can go ahead and keep... No, we gotta make one more person laugh. Or... You don't have to make them laugh, you just have to have them listen when you when you make a joke. Yep. There is obviously the danger of being so incredibly offensive as to incite violence towards yourself. Which, um, you know, I mean, if, if you're doing that, you probably should look for a different career. Um, and I saying, say that knowing a person in my personal life who pursued a career as a comedian for a while and speaking to him. Not sure it was ever really his cup of tea. Can't hit people with your own class. That seems good. Or with your own class now. Um, yeah, I, I think if we really start like telling jokes to everybody on the floor, we'll be able to amass a bit of a crowd. Um, and that'll end up paying dividends for us. So we can retrieve this item here. So I think telling this lady a joke will give us the potential like maybe she'll just hand it over to us. Or maybe she'll kick me out of her shop. Terrible go away. Well, then I got hit with the John Mulaney. 
literally she wants me out of the establishment. I'm sorry, ma'am. I wish you'd, you would have, I don't know. I wish I would have read the room better. I think if anything, it's my fault and I should have made better jokes. Um, this is the beginning of a bit of a recording spree. So um, this weekend I am leaving or I'm going out of town for a bit again. And uh, so I want to make sure that I have like a video going up each day. Sundays too. Like today, there is going to be a uh, another Winging It episode coming out later. Um, or probably like three hours after this video drops. Um, so keep your eye out for that. So I got to record about like six, seven videos um, kind of back to back here, which is really going to put my my speaking chops to the test. Oh, you love it. You love it. Um, were they laughing at the fact that I was attacking her? Because I didn't even tell a joke right there. Okay. Um, we'll keep moving over here. How's your sense of humor? You in, you in the mood to laugh? Nope. Cop. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Um, I can't wait to, uh, specifically to record more Temtem. If you guys aren't watching that series, I honestly think, at least as of right now, it is the, the best content I'm putting out. And... I don't know if that, that is even bias because I feel like a bias would be me saying that all of the videos I put out are 10 out of 10, which I don't necessarily think is true. Um, the Temtem videos though are, are something I, I'm i particularly proud of. I think the game just, it, it's a really good game. It's got really good dialogue, good mechanics that are interesting and unique. And it really, it, it works to create a really enjoyable experience and I can't wait to record more videos of that. Um, I have decided to do two Temtem videos every like, a day like of that so there are three time slots essentially like the three days that i'm rotating i'm gonna do two temtem videos in that kind of specific day range um because that's gonna be the rotating like story kind of game that i'm gonna be focusing on um so once we're done with temtem we'll move on to another like long term long form story based game um so that's that's why if you're wondering why i'm uploading two videos of that that's that's the reason um I think we're kind of in it for the long haul on these games, so uh, this is a little risky because these guys are going to be mad, but I didn't even mean to have the paralyzer traps out. Um, okay. Come on, buddy. Did I paralyze you? Hopefully he's not mad if I did paralyze him. I uh, can't afford any upgrades there. Listen, man. Okay, I, yeah, I definitely paralyzed him. That's unfortunate. You can keep walking here. Tell some jokes on the way if anybody hasn't heard them yet. I mean, look at look at this squadron we have. I'm absolutely right up this slave master's alley, which is a little bit, um, you know, you gotta play to your crowd a bit, but also it's it's a little unfortunate that that's the the, the type of people I'm attracting. Um, should be able to move on here. Not worried about grabbing too much chess. Kind of. I think one of our, our best weapon is the fact that we can make people laugh. Jokes have a higher chance of success. Pretty much an insta lock for this guy. Um, the biggest danger here is telling a joke that makes somebody super pissed at you. I have a feeling uh, Terminator here is not going to have a sense of humor, but uh, okay, let's go ahead. Come on, let's get the people against me. Yeah, that's what you like to see. All right, that'll hopefully come back to help us in the future. Um, hello, officer. In the mood for a joke? Nice, let's go. That's working pretty consistently. What about you? All right. Keep, just keep walking. He's not a problem. Only laugh. Okay. Imagine a joke landing so poorly that people just can't help but physically attack you, you know? I would... I can't imagine saying something that has the potential to be so incendiary. It's, 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 it's risky. It's risky. All right. You're really going to kill my cop friend over this? You know, he he was he was running away with that one a little bit. I did not expect that to insta kill him. Okay, we got we got some real danger going on right now. Does this guy blow up metal walls? Fire at me? He doesn't. Okay, so we're just gonna have to kite him around a little bit here. Um I think I might be able to hack him with one of these hacker tools, but I'm not necessarily interested in that right now. Um I don't know, just doesn't necessarily seem like the best ideas at the, at the current situation. I think we've got to go in here. I don't know how this works. If I can, I just 
No. It's already too late once they've seen you. Okay, okay, we got... We got spice. Quit. Quit unfreezing. Okay. I'm not sure... Just gonna... Crack that guy. Get out of there, get out of there. That could've killed me. Officer, please save me. Okay. We're in a very, very dangerous situation. It's extremely precarious. Can I, uh... Maybe this will be... Okay, we can give them, like, the cigarette smoke effect. Kind of flush them out. Maybe they'll run into our cop buddy. Can I make Ghost Laugh? Yes, I can. That's, that's nice. Still have a sense of humor. After whatever happened to them. Hello, everyone. Oh, you'll love to see it. Increasing the efficacy of the, the, the jokes are just... That's, that's a 10 out of 10 get. Alright. We do have him coming up. Luckily, I was not lined up for that one, or else that would have been pretty devastating. He was, as you can see, proving just how devastating it would be. Okay. Um, look, I... Can I propose us teaming up instead? Um, oh, jeez. I really shouldn't be messing around with this guy. Because I am within the one shot range oh no oh jeez get out get down get down get down run run okay we're gonna have to pull like a loop on him just so we can get this holy crap that was such a clean shot okay we leveled up so i'm not as on edge anymore um whew, okay should be able to get out of here now yeah, I'm a, I'm a little nervous about the, the first ever content marathon that I'm going to be going for. I mean, I've I've done like two video, three videos back to back, but all of the stuff I'm about to record and upload. All right, okay. This is risky. I want to kind of bait out one shot. This is going to hurt. Almost certainly going to hurt. Not me. Call an ambulance, but not for me. Okay. Um, you know what? I think just standing there... No matter who you're talking to right now, isn't that good of an idea, just given how we're pretty much good on health for the moment. Alright, this is going going decently. Not exactly the, the ultimate build, but um, let, let's get this. Uh, make sure that they can um, still follow us down to the next floor. Could be potentially good just by recruiting some more guys. Alrighty. Yeah, I'm really excited to record the episode of uh, Winging It next, because this is the first time. Like, so I've had developers reach out to me before but um oh. he ruined my joke but never like i like every other time the games have been uh free or like open access kind of thing but this is actually uh i got a steam code for a, a ten dollar game which you know it doesn't it may not sound like much but um i don't know it's kind of a big deal for me i'm, I'm looking forward to it the game also just looks awesome so pretty much extremely excited um, okay, we do gotta get in here. Let's, uh, let's knock. And then we can follow him in. Just gonna go for it. Okay, firefighter, you shouldn't have just stared the turret right in the eyes, man. That's not, that's not what you want to be going for in this time. Alright, I'm gonna blow that up. I think we did get this. Hello, officer. Care for a, a laugh. Not good, not good. Take him out, take him out. Alright. I think it might have been in the last Streets of Rogue episode, maybe Dicey Dungeons, um, where I was talking about the fact that I had recently started watching Space Force. And um, I, I've continued watching that, and I'm, I'm, I'm prepared to give more opinions. I'm only, probably, I'm still not far in, you know, maybe like three, four, five episode range. Um, the biggest opinion I have here, so I'll, I'll set the scene for you. It's set, obviously, it's about the, the, the Space Force, the um, branch of the military proposed by Donald Trump, um, intended on arming uh, and placing U.S. individuals on or in space, essentially. Um, they've got a weird angle here because I think, I mean, pretty much, at least, I'll, okay, I'll speak for myself here. When I first heard this show as a concept, it, it seemed like especially given the, the writers attached and that kind of thing. It seemed like the show was mainly meant um, 
in jest at the silly or perceived silly idea that the president had been like putting into place. Like basically they were kind of mocking the fact that a space force is something that they're creating. Um, and that's, that's what I was expecting. And that's what it goes for a lot of the time. But uh, also there is a particular scene where, um, so they, they put this uh, satellite into space and um, and then as soon as it's like in space, successful launch, that kind of thing, everybody's celebrating, the, uh, a, a Chinese satellite comes over and like essentially like rips the, uh, I guess they're like panels that kind of charge it um, and give it electricity. They just, they tear the panels right off. And, um, so they gotta, they gotta find a way to essentially reattach the panel so that the, they don't waste billions of dollars on this, this satellite. And, um, you, you got Steve Carell's character, who is the, the, the brazen, um, military general who is kind of, like, his experience is 100% within, like, the military type thing. He's, he's not the guy who likes science, he's the guy who likes swinging it, they make plenty of jokes about him wanting to blow everything up, and, and that makes sense. Um, he's kind of portrayed as the guy who wants to make all the decisions without actually, um, 70% on this. Yeah, I mean, you, you always got to go if it's 70%. The jokes are landing, like, every single time right now. It's incredible. Um, yeah, so he he's just meant to be portrayed as the guy who doesn't know how to handle situations. Like, that's, that's it. Um, he'll propose dumb things that they shouldn't do. Um, and then the scientists will be like, we're going to try to figure something else out. And this particularly happens in the situation where they're trying to fix the, um, why would I try to hit that guy? Um, where they're trying to fix this spaceship or the satellite literally like every single time. I love it. Um, he essentially proposes that they use a monkey who is stationed on a, uh, on a like relatively local satellite. Um, they get this monkey to jump out of his satellite and then go over to the other satellite and reattach the um, the wings. I'm gonna call them wings because, like, I mean, they're not technically wings, but it's close enough. And obviously, the scientists are like, "That is stupid. That will never work." Like, we can obviously we can talk to the monkey using like sign language, but we can't express like complex cop topics. Like, we can't tell them exactly how to manipulate tools and that kind of stuff. And so the one guy who um, like trains the animals is like yeah I mean that'll never work and then he's like essentially like well it's it's gonna work because I'm telling you that it's gonna work and then like as an audience member you you don't even want it to work because what is that what's that proving like it, it, it's nonsensical like that is not at all how that situation would be handled and um, the problem is they essentially almost make it work and uh, it's it's ridiculous. It's like it's it's teaching the wrong message because it almost gives it like it gives the um, the general just enough leeway to be able to look the scientists in the eyes and be like, "See, I told you so." When like that that doesn't make sense. It's 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 absolutely ridiculous, and um, the fact that the monkey even got anywhere close is just absurd. And it, it kind of confuses the message. I don't know what they're going for with it. Let's we'll go kneecapper just to give us some offense. Um, I don't know. I'm torn on it because the cast really is so good. John Malkovich is killing it. Um, you know, Steve Carell, I'm a little iffy on him. I think he's like a good guy and he's in The Big Short, which is one of my favorite movies of the decade easily. But like, um, he doesn't have that many different characters at the end of the day. And okay. Uh, I didn't really see exactly what this, uh, what the floor we're looking at is, but it's probably Riot or Bounty or something. I'm just trying to get these jokes off before people are too pissed to listen to me. Um, yep. Getting attacked by pretty much everybody here. Jeez. Okay, okay. Focus, focus, focus. Get in here. Oh my god, are you kidding me, dude? <sighs> Character select. Try somebody else. Um, we haven't done the goon yet. Okay. And yeah, I mean, John Malkovich is great. And like, you, it just feels like the char like the character he plays ends up feeling like one of Michael Scott's characters that he makes. Um, what do we what do we do with this character? Um, 
speak to the target, then neutralize all invaders. Bonus cash for each owner kept alive. All right, so that's something we'll have to, um, what's the deal? Um, here they come. So we just gotta make sure this guy doesn't get in here. That shouldn't be too bad. Hey, hey, I, I would appreciate it if you guys stayed outside and left this to me. That would, that would make this too easy, I guess. I mean, we got some people fighting with us, which is good, including the all of the owners. Jeez. Okay, I, I was not expecting this many people. The life of a goon is a, is a stressful. I just saw you spawn in. Mutator unlocked assassination nation. Oh god, I just made an, an, another unnecessary enemy. Switch to the. Do we just do this until the end of time? Okay, we. God, we had to kill nine people. All right, well, did I do your bidding correctly? Okay, well, at least we got that out of the way. Oh wait, yeah, I actually healed me because that was particularly rough. Um, okay, we can go ahead and rescue this guy. Where's the computer? It's in here. Should be able to sneak in here. Okay, well. I had to do that in order to get the alarm to go off anyways, so. All right, follow me, buddy. Watch your step. Yeah, and uh, even on top of that, like, Ben Schwartz is just great in everything he's in. Dude's absolutely hilarious. Um, I think the one of the biggest highlights that they're not using enough is the um, the group of the, like, the other, or the other, like, generals that are kind of, it's like you got the, the head of the, um, the Navy, the Marines, the Coast Guard, all that kind of stuff. There's like this circle of characters essentially. And you got like Jane Lynch in there. You got um, Patrick Warburton who has the greatest voice of all time. Um, I can never remember his name, but you got the uh, the crazy roommate from Office Space. It's That cast of characters is just incredible. And oh, that worked out perfectly. And uh, yeah, just all appreciated to see at all times basically. I'm, I'm really, I, I like them. I, they haven't appeared as much as I'd like in that. Um, you also you have the daughter, who is played by um, one of the people or one of the uh, love interests from Booksmart, which is incredible, and she's really good in it too. But I think just as a, as a whole, it's it's not exactly landing for me right now. But like I said in the last time I talked about this, I think there's still potential, just given. Um, the guy's track record how most of the time the first season is a little weak and then he makes some of the greatest television we've seen ever essentially um it was worth a shot we'll lead him out of here look away officer okay got him we're gonna have to talk to this guy let's see um this isn't very fortified we got two entrances all right Oh, here we go. How many are we are gonna have this time? Okay. Buddy, I'm telling you, just, just stay out of the way and let me deal with it. Inside, preferably. The sword's really good. Should give us the ability to really chip down at these guys. Okay, there were only three there. That wasn't that bad. I accidentally hit extra people to make it more of a problem, but at the end of the day, it was a struggle, especially compared to the last one we had keep moving here i think we even got money for keeping them alive um i don't have a window cutter do i no we got to do this the hard way um and by that i mean we literally are gonna have to kill the shopkeeper just to get the key i mean we might have a lock pick but even then we're gonna have to get the person past her anyway so might as well shouldn't be that hard of a fight this sword is absolutely incredible all right just follow me we don't gotta worry about that Level exit, thank you for being the closer one. I really appreciate that. And then she should just go ahead and walk up there. I'm a little bummed that the comedian run went out like that. Um, really popped off towards the end there, but not a whole lot I could have really done about it. Besides, I don't know, I mean, be better equipped to handle a fight and not run down all the long hallways. This isn't going to go well. Wow, it actually... Y you love the small percentage chances going in your way. That's, that's one of the just the most underrated feelings of this game. Oh, I did not intend on starting the, the countdown. Okay, yeah, I mean, sorry about that, buddy. 
Don't mind me. Please be three buttons. There are. Still gonna have to handle these dudes. Hello, my fellow goon. Come on, man. You know better than just to pick the side of the, the bad guys. Um, yeah, so this weekend I'm pretty excited. Gonna be uh, playing more D&D &D as I do basically every weekend. Um, I don't know. It's... Oh, are you kidding me? At least for full health. Um, I genuinely think it's a it's an extremely underrated pastime. And, I mean, especially, like, it's just completely, like, gate-kept by a lot of people. And people, like, don't even give it the chance. Like, I remember I told my great-aunt, who's, who's on the older side, um, when I told her that we were, that me and my cousin were playing D&D. &D, um, let's, yeah, we'll go increase crit chance. Um, she said, is, is that the... She's like, is that how, um, the, or the board that you use to talk to ghosts? So she thought D&D &D was a, a Ouija board. And I, I am just not in the business of bettering my cause. So of course I said, yes, that is what we're doing. We're communing with the dead. Um, that's our pastime. That's what we've stumbled upon. Um, we prefer our life to feel as much like a paranormal activity movie as physically possible. Save probably by the hard hat. Still almost certainly gonna die here. Do you pop the syringe? You pop the syringe. There you go. It's it's those kind of brass balls that make sure you make it on the other side. Like, gosh. I mean, I don't want to learn the wrong lesson there because that was just 100% luck and there's basically no reason that that should have given me the exact effect that I needed. But, you know, I can act like it was a, it was a good play instead of a total gamble. Um... The guy who was running away from us even got sent to the freaking shadow realm. I'm just gonna hop in here. Hey guys, how's it going? Who do I have to protect on this floor? Um, bottom left. It's gonna be a little annoying, especially since our other thing is up here, but we'll get that towards the end. If I, if I time it well and talk to the person... Oh my god, I'm about to make a lot of enemies here. Um, Alright, well, can I... It's they're a bit melee durability. Um, I guess we'll have the baseball bat. Hello, gentlemen. Get inside. Get inside. Just don't let them in. Hold. Okay. The guy with the gun's a real big problem here. All right, don't mind me. Just got some buttons to press. See, that was just needlessly risky and essentially suicidal. But should be able to heal here. And then it's like it never even happened. It's like the mistakes that you made just are absolutely paying no no price on your life this is the good way i'm gonna take a drink here because it is about 100 degrees in my room as it always is it's so hot in my room that that was not helpful at all because the liquid itself is boiling hot it's pretty rough I'm not a big fan um yeah so today we're going to be playing the space gladiators game if there's anything else like any other games that you guys have to recommend that I could play for that series, I would absolutely love to hear it. I do have a decent backlog in terms of games that have been recommended to me, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm just, uh, anything that you guys have that you think would be interesting, doesn't have to be roguelite, but that is kind of the, the focus here. Let's wait until this um, hits like, like three, and then hopefully we'll ice these guys. At least did some damage there. Make sure you guys stay inside. I don't want... Did I hit you? I'm sorry if I did. Um, just keep knocking them deeper and deeper down the hallway of doom. You're... Oh, no. If they knock me out, I'm, I'm in big trouble. So, I mean, it's equally risky for both sides. He just tanked that, which is unfortunate for him. Um, still got some more guys to... We got one more to neutralize. Fortunately, it's not going to line up with the time, but... Should be able to handle them anyways. I did not expect for him to actually hit all those shots right there. Okay. You know, it's what I do. It's what I do. Okay. Um, I just... Just gotta run here. Hopefully not get smoked by this radiation. I'm gonna want to take cover in the nearest building because it is getting a little close. Especially because that would one hit. I think it does 30 damage. Could be wrong. I feel like that's kind of the, the general trap um, spontaneous effect of damage that they're they're going for. There is one game I'm really excited to play because I saw it was um, on, I think, the indie game subreddit. This guy posted um, the and said that like he 
the finished product of his game had just dropped. Um, it's like five dollars, and um, yeah, he was looking for support, and he's, he said he's like 15 years old, and the game looked just awesome. So I was I was instantly just impressed because basically whenever somebody who is younger than me does something that like and produces like a form of media like that, I'm just like I'm, I'm just stunned. Um, and it's becoming more and more common as I get like older, obviously. Like it's becoming something that's um, pretty crazy. Like I remember like the, the first time that I really felt that, um, just like person, like, like knowingly had that like become a re relevant aspect of my life was, um, can I, what the heck am I doing there? Um, was when, uh, Khaled started becoming popular because... I was a high school senior when he was a high school senior, and that's when he started dropping albums and that kind of stuff. And I mean, obviously, I'd seen actors and everything, but like it was around my 18th birthday, and they're like, Khaled is just this like 18 year old dude dropping this music, making these waves. And I'm like, man. And I'm just sitting here playing Rainbow Six Siege until 3 in the morning. You know, it really makes you think. Um, at that point, I had started playing DD, so that wasn't my, my go to. Man, this is what I spend my time doing. At least I'm going to. Well,. I was gonna say at least I'm going to college, but I think that's even disingenuous because that makes it sound like that's the only valuable thing you can do if you're not entertaining the, the masses. Which it is definitely not true. I think the concept that everybody should be going to college is one of the more dangerous kind of ideals that we have right now. It's wasting a lot of time and a lot of money for people who could be changing the world in much more meaningful ways. Yeah. This is... I don't want to get out of the way here, because that's going to blow up. I'm not trying to have another episode one happen. Destroy one of the buttons, so I should just be able to... Wow. You guys are going to go through the house that was just decimated? It's a little bold. Okay. Move down here. All right. Got to protect this police officer. You're in a pretty safe spot, so if you just stay here, it shouldn't even be a problem. Maybe I can get far enough where I'll be able to hit them without them even hearing. Hopefully this cop doesn't get mad about it. Now they're aligned with me. Don't shoot the cops. I do not want to make that enemy. This guy's coming. Just going to get ahead of the fight. Alright, that was actually perfect. We're just going to... Perfectly created some conflict there, so they're going to be... At least taking each other out. Won't have to waste too much of my health. I think actually now that the people I'm defending are getting out of there, which is a little bit upsetting. I think we need one more. See over here. There he is. She was on the run. Don't you have a? There we go. Alrighty. And then we're able to bounce out of here too. It's going pretty smoothly. You know, it's, it's hard. I mean, normally I can make it past the first four or five floors without really getting into too much heat unless I'm playing a little risky. The most unfortunate part about recording these videos is that if I were to turn on my fan right now, it would be just unbelievably loud and completely noticeable within the video. So that's just not even an option. I just have to absolutely tank the heat. You know what? Sure. You know, I just said I'd do something risky and then endanger my life. Oh my god. This is... At least the timing was poetic. One day we'll win one of these runs. Unfortunately, I can't jump into another one right now just because I have so many other videos to record. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys are staying safe. Uh, link in the comment or in the description for um, if you do want to help out. Um, other than that, comment, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. Hope you guys have a great day. Thank you.